What's up guys? So you guys saw the last video I did on the Hook Road front bumper. They also sent me the rear bumper, so again, shout out to Hook Road. Leave the link in the description down below as well as a coupon code. But I actually just put on the front bumper today. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and get the rear bumper on. I feel like I like the rear bumper a lot more than the front, but um, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started removing the rear bumper. All right, so we are under the back passenger side. From what the directions say, we need to loosen these two, as well as those screw or bolt in there, 16 millimeter. Let me go ahead and take those off on both sides. Then see what else I need to take off because we just want to remove the bumper, not the tow hitch support. Uh, it's a little confusing, kind of all looks like one piece, but uh, we're just going to take it step by step. See what happens. All right, well we got the three, two nuts, one bolt on each side, passenger and driver's side. Um, believe it's gonna be this big bolt right here. It's either 21 or 22. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off and see. I'm not sure if that's all that's holding the bumper on. Again, I'm just going off the directions they gave me right here. So I'm gonna try and take that one off and see if the bumper starts to sag. I already went ahead, disconnected the main connector for the parking sensors, as well as the connector for the Polak, or the Polak connector. That way we don't rip any wire harness off when we go to remove this bumper. All right, so uh, there was two hidden bolts. It's about right in here. Got the camera in there. Those are the final bolts holding the bumper. I guess there's like a little notch into the hitch receiver. So you have to get those bolts off. I used a uh, electric ratchet. This one right here. One on each side. This camera is too big to show you, but you can see it if you look through that little hole. The license plate side. Once you get those off, then the bumper should come off. At least uh, this side right here now, pretty much ready to come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt that last bolt and hopefully the bumper comes off. Update the camera battery died, but got the factory bumper out. Got the pull out connector out, went on this little bracket. It's gonna bolt on the bottom of the new bumper. All I gotta do right now is again pop out the factory parking sensors as well as the spare tire lock. See that one has two holes, depending on I guess which where yours is located. Uh, I am going to have to rewire the license plate bulb. Uh, this harness has two. This bumper, unfortunately, only has one LED, so hopefully it's still pretty bright. I really liked how bright those LEDs were, but this bumper was kind of a pain in the ass to get out. See those scrape marks? Um, basically, it was sitting in here. And uh, yeah, it was just hitting this part when trying to pull it out. I tried to drop the hitch receiver, thinking it would give me a little bit more room, but it really didn't matter because the frame itself in there didn't really move. I guess the only other way would be uh, loosen the bolts holding the bed to the frame, lifting the bed up a little bit, but I was able to pry it out. You can see there's a slight dent right there. Same on the other side. But yeah, that was a little difficult, a lot more difficult than I thought. I thought it was just gonna pop out, but anyways, we got it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap over the factory parking sensors. You can see we have the new brackets. Just put some new hardware in there. Tightened up the hitch receiver up and the new bumper is just gonna bolt right onto this. Should be pretty easy peasy, hopefully. 
two bolts on each side. And then we should be able to get this bumper on. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap these sensors over. Uh, sorry I didn't get footage. Something happened to the file for some reason. I've been having issues lately with my computer, but the rear bumper is all installed. Uh, this video is taken quite a few miles after the fresh install, but came out looking pretty nice. Uh, still got access for the spare tire removal. LED light just plugged right in. Uh, the pull-out connector is not plugged in. The harness does not reach. So I might have to reach out to them and ask them what I'm supposed to do with that. Because that's kind of useless right now. But luckily I'm not doing any towing. Overall, the rear, I knew I was going to like it. Uh, it looks really great. Uh, the front's been holding up on there just as great. It's starting to grow on me. I'm probably just going to leave it on. I had thoughts of removing the front bumper, but it's starting to grow on me and the lights are super bright. So yeah guys, that pretty much sums up this episode. Overall, the rear was, uh, I would say, a lot easier, less technical than the front install, but these bumpers look pretty damn good. They haven't shifted at all since I've installed them. Uh, really haven't had any issues at all since the install and I've gotten a lot of compliments. I put a poll on Instagram asking if you guys think stock versus the aftermarket and like 95% people went with the aftermarket. So it started growing on me. Uh, like I said, I like the rear a lot better than the front design, but that just could be personal preference. But shout out again to Hook Road for sending me these bumpers and they got a bunch of holiday deals going on right now. So feel free to hit that link down in the description below to check them out. Anyways, catch you guys later. Peace!